smoke coming out from around the engine, you could need a new valve cover gasket. So today I'm going to show you how to change a valve cover gasket on your engine. The first thing you're going to notice is that there's all kinds of stuff over the valve cover gasket that you got to move and get out of the way to remove the cover. First we'll remove the PCV valve hose. Then we'll take off the air filter cleaner to get to the back so we can remove the brake booster vacuum line here. Just loosen it with the wrench over it goes. Then get a ratchet with an extension and a socket and remove all the bolts on the valve cover gasket. And here's an old mechanics tip. Get one of these stick magnets so you can put it on the end of the socket so the nuts and bolts don't fall anywhere and you don't lose them. Put the magnet on the socket and when you pick it up the nut comes with it. And in this V8 then you can pick up the shim and pull it out with a magnet too. Now there's only four bolts holding the valve cover up on this engine so it's pretty simple getting them off. Now sometimes these valve covers are stuck on so whack it with a hammer a little and then they'll usually pull right off. Now you may have to do a lot of wiggling but eventually it comes off. Now normally you have to scrape the old gasket off and then put some weather stripping glue on first before you put the new gasket on. But in this case, my customer bought a brand new chrome cover, so we're going to use that instead. We'll just toss this old junker. Then just slide the cover back on and bolt it up. Put on the shim and the bolt, and then tighten it all up. And for your final tightening, first tighten the top left one then tighten the bottom right one, then tighten the bottom left one, and finally tighten the top right one. And of course, don't forget to put all the hoses and wires back on. And now you've got a nice clean engine that doesn't leak anymore.